He is the unimaginably merciful. He is the constant source of mercy, constantly merciful. He is Allah, the one that no one is to be worshipped or obeyed in any way, shape or form except He. Al-Malik, the King. Al-Quddus, the source of all purity. When we appreciate Allah's kingdom, we realize we're owned by Him. When we appreciate Allah's, you know, as Quds, His Qudsiya, that He's Quddus, His Taqdis, then we realize we're going to remain dirty until Allah cleanses us. Allah is the one that purifies. As-Salam, the source of peace. All peace is Allah Himself. We're never, we're never going to find peace in, in life until Allah, the As-Salam. Allahumma anta As-Salam. Wa minka As-Salam. You are Salam and Salam comes from you. You are peace and peace comes from you. I can't have any peace in my life until you give it to me. Al-Mu'min. The one who gives iman. Here al-mu'min means the one who gives iman, the one who gives peace. Wal al-muhaymin, the one who protect al raqib the one who watches constantly over someone and make sure they don't go in the wrong direction. This is muhaymin, watching over somebody. Al aziz al jabbar, the one who is the ultimate authority. Al jabbar, the one who corrects. You know, jabbar is used jabbar al azam, the the brown book and somebody forced it back into, into place. Or somebody dislocated a bone and somebody forced it, lodged it back into place. This is jabar. It's actually more used for broken bones that are set straight. The ones who will set you straight forcefully if necessary, that's jabbar. He can put you straight forcefully if he wants. And that name of Allah reminds us that when I go the wrong way, I do the wrong thing, Allah didn't do anything to me. Allah didn't set me straight, but He is jabbar, He can if He wants. He could set me straight. He could t- correct me right then and there. That's, that's his power of Jabbar. Al Mutakabbir, the owner of greatness. The owner of greatness. When we recognize the Allah's name, Al Mutakabbir, then you realize I can't have any pride. I can't have any ego. Because if there is takabbir, and there's someone who really owns greatness, that's him. Al Mutakabbir. Subhanallah amma yushrikun. How far above Allah is from all allegations that they attribute to him. هو الله الخالق البارئ. He is Allah, the Creator, the Initiator, the one who starts things from nothing. المصور, the Molder, the Fashioner. You know, people complain about I'm too short, I'm too fat, I'm too brown, I'm too light, I got freckles, I don't like the color of my eyes. Why is my voice like this? Why am I this way? Why am I that way? Allah calls Himself المصور. The fashioner, the molder, the sculptor. You look at yourself in the mirror and you thank Allah that He sculpted your nose and He sculpted your eyes and He sculpted your face. And He sculpted your teeth and He sculpted your tongue. That it could speak. Al-Musawwir. Lahu al-Asma'ul Husna. He alone owns all the most beautiful names. Yusabbihu lahu ma fi samawati wal ard. You know the surah began, Sabbaha, it ends, Yusabbihu. Everything in the skies and the earth continues to declare His perfection. يُسَبِّحُ لَهُ مَا فِي السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ What is the point of mentioning that at the very end? Be like the rest of creation. Everything else doesn't forget Allah. Everything else is on its tasbih. What happened to you? Why are you off? Why are you forgetting what your purpose in existence is? وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ And He, in fact, is the ultimate authority and the owner of all wisdom. May Allah Azza wa Jal don't not make us of people who've forgotten themselves. And may Allah Azza wa Jal make us of those who remember Him by His most beautiful names. And may Allah make all of our du'as sincere and genuine from the heart. So there's strong faith, there's weak faith, and then the level underneath that is hypocrisy. And the warning is if you're in weak faith right now, that means you're in dangerous territory. Which means the only one step below and where will you be? You'll be in nifaq. You don't want to be there. Let me tell you about the people of nifaq. يَوْمَ يَقُولُ الْمُنَافِقُونَ وَالْمُنَافِقَاتِ The day on which the hypocrit- hypocritical men and women are going to say, لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا To those who believe, unduruna, Look towards us. Wait for us. So everybody's walking towards Jannah. The hypocrites are being left behind a little. This is phase two of Judgment Day by the way. The disbelievers have already been discarded. 
They're already in hellfire, they've been thrown in. Now there is only who left? Believers and hypocrites. And they're marching their way towards Jannah. And because the believers have light coming out of them, they know where to go, so they're moving a little quickly. And by the way, do they have motivation to move quickly? Sure. They sure do. So they rush, and then the announcement is made, Jannah. Or like, oh, and you, you know, they, they're making a dash for it. Now who doesn't have light? Hypocrites don't have a light. They don't have a light. They had fake iman. They didn't have real iman. They, maybe at some point they had an intellectual faith, but even that was lost because of their weak, they didn't take care of their hearts. So there's no light coming out of their chest because the heart was void. And as a result, the deeds were meaningless because the deeds are nothing if they're not good with good intentions in the heart. So if the heart is hard, then the deeds are worthless. So there's no light with these guys. Now if you're in a, in a dark place and you're walking, some people have torches, you don't have a torch. What do you want to do? Stay close to the people with the torch. You could see some of the light with them. Now if you get left behind and you realize you can't see them anymore, they call out, Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. Naqtabis min nurikum. Qabas in Arabic is a borrowed flame. Like Indiana Jones style, you take your torch and you light the other, or you light your torch with something. So that's basically, can we borrow some of your light? Can we have some of your light so we can have light for ourselves? Qila, it will be said to them. Allah doesn't even say that the Muslims will turn back to them and say. Allah says, Qila, shh, over there, shh. Qila, it will be said. It will be said. Allah doesn't even say believers will say it to them. Because that would make it seem like believers are like, Concerned. Um, an announcement is made. Just like Bushrakumul Yom, we weren't meant the Qail, the speaker wasn't mentioned. Just like that. An announcement is made. Irji'u wara'akum. Go back behind you. Turn around and go back. Faltamisu nura. Iltamasa yani talaba. Go find light. Go seek it out. Get it somewhere else. This light ain't for you. Go get your own light. These guys are in the utter dark and they're told, turn around. Go find your own light. فَضُّرِبَ بَيْنَهُمْ But they don't listen, they still want to try to catch up to the believers, right? Because turning back, they realize what that means. So what does Allah say? فَضُّرِبَ بَيْنَهُمْ بِسُورٍ Then between them, a wall will be dropped. A large wall. Sur, from which we also get surah. Surah is large walls that encircle a city. It's not the wall in your backyard. It's not the fence wall. It's the large, you know, Assassin's Creed wall. Big giant wall, can't scale it, etc. Okay? That wall. That kind of huge damn wall will be dropped between them. Lahu bab, which has a door. Lahu bab. Why even mention a door? On a comment, you know, there are different levels of munafiqun and people of weak iman. There may be those who are in, who are, you know, the Messenger describes, alayhi salatu wasalam, people that will burn in hellfire for some time and then eventually make their way to paradise. Well, how are they going to get to paradise if this gigantor wall is there? What's in that wall? A door. There's, there's still some way. But, and, and some argue, no, this, wall, this door is mentioned, so it adds to their hope, so they try to open it and realize they won't open so it's like insult to injury. بَاطِنُهُ فِيهِ rahma. On the other side of it, the side you can't see, there is mercy. وَظَاهِرُهُ And the obvious side, where, where these people are at, مِنْ قِبَلِهِ الْعَظَابِ from, from the other side of it, is all there is is punishment. يُنَادُونَهُمْ They're gonna start calling out from the wall. Now walls don't have ceilings. So you can still hear on the other side. So they start yelling and screaming, أَلَمْ نَكُمْ مَعَكُمْ Weren't we with you? We were with you, we, were, we went to the same school, man. Remember? Mudaf, Mudaf ilay. You, you and I were like Mudaf and Mudaf ilay, inseparable, nothing comes between us. You know? What happened today, man? I used to be at the masjid too. I was a believer too. Abdullah ibn Ubay was at the first rows of, you know, of the masjid. When I went to masjid al Nabawi for Fajr, I got to the masjid before the adhan, started walking, Prayed some sunnah, kept walking, iqama was given, I, I was not even halfway into the masjid. Not even halfway into the masjid. My intention was to try to catch, like follow the janazah into Jannah al baqiyah If you're up ahead, you can follow it. But man, you're like, way back there. You know, in the, in the hallway you have to pray. And you're like, man, these munafiqoon, they were in the front row, behind Rasulullah. That's Sheikh Hudayn. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. If you enjoyed this video, please do share it with friends and family. If you want to see more videos from this series, click on the box at the top. If you want to see other videos, click on the box at the bottom. 
and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks.